uh, I gotta get that kid off the payroll soon, man. Cause it's gonna be hard to marry that one off cause the guy's gotta fall in love with her forehead. <laughs> See, you're judging and you don't even know. She's, she's probably the prettiest one out of the litter. She truly is. Uh, but we gave her a cell phone way too early, right? She, yeah, her sister got one at 16. She got one on the same day at 13. As a daddy, I was opposed to it. And now I haven't seen two of her eyes since, y'all. They've just been buried down in that phone. I figure the guy's got to walk into a bar and go, look at the forehead on that one. Dude, check out her thumbs. They're huge. And I bet they're fake. State your business, please. Looking to shoot something. Maybe I ought to take you down for questioning. Maybe you ought to try. How the hell are you, Dale? Sorry if I scared you. I was working on my bag cop. I sure hate to see the good one. <laughs> well? Well, what? Cigarette. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought you quit. I thought you weren't on a diet. <laughs> well, we both got to die of something, don't we? You're going to be hiking out in the dark, you old fool. Hell, they're calling for snow tonight. Now it falls to the judges to get them scores. <laughs> All right, so first up, we had Mike. Mike, one of the things that I love about a comic is when they leave the stage that I know who they are. I thought your set was absolutely brilliant. For that reason, I gave you a 19. Hey, it's the old buddy comedian William Lee Martin. We're still here at the Music Thon here at the Country Network. I found myself in another beautiful podcast room. Now here they do a cooking show. Everybody loves a cooking show. And it's Trey Chapman's show, y'all, called Trey's Chow Down Live. Now not only does he put it out as a podcast, but it's also videoed for broadcast. And you can get it on the Country Network app, everybody. So go ahead and download it now. Well, maybe not now. You're still watching me, okay? Well, let me ask you this now that uh, the son is off in college. Are, are, we, uh, are we thinking about getting back on the boards and, and, uh, and running, taking a run at it again? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm always writing. I'm still writing. Okay. Because, I mean, you know, uh, you know, comics, you know, you yeah. don't stop writing. You know. Well, some don't. Well. And then some do. And you can tell. Okay, well, okay. Oh, well, I... <laughs> Don't... Yeah, me too. I can only speak yeah. for myself. Yeah. On Instagram, he put a post up that he said uh, uh, if uh, 500 people buy his album, he'll put more pictures of his girlfriend in a bikini. <laughs> Wait, you haven't seen the picture. It gets Just better. trying to sell records, y'all. <laughs> Just trying to sell records. That's right. And his girlfriend approved. But he also said if he sells 5,000... Uh, albums, he will put a picture of him in a bikini. <laughs> so me and my crack staff kind of put it together and we try to uh, look at it. Now here is his girlfriend in a bikini, everybody. And uh, here is Will in a bikini, everybody. <laughs> That's what you really want. That's what you want. Yeah, That's yeah. what you want. Will Southern, everybody. Will Southern. And we'll be right back. I'm telling you, man, I, I'm glad you came out to the Christmas show. You know, when I, I told my agent I wanted to do a Christmas show, he said, well, Bill, uh, stand-up comedians don't do a Christmas show. And I said, well, that's exactly why we should do a Christmas show. Think about it. Every year, y'all watch the same movies. You know, It's a Wonderful Life, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Die Hard. That's a Christmas movie, by the way. That's a Christmas movie. And I just figured the whole family could get together and watch William Lee Martin, the Nutcracker, every year. And uh, 
I could pay for them five kids I got back there. How about that? <laughs>